Hi, I'm Jonas, a winner of multiple national and international science olympiads. I'm privileged to have had support from the most amazing tutors in my hometown, and that's why now I am so passionate about helping students all across Britain to succeed in their exams. In this podcast, we go through easy to follow theory and examples to provide you with confidence and skills in the subject. Join me in the journey of making your exam experience a success story. Welcome back to our lovely podcast. I'm really happy that you're listening to this episode. And before we start, I would like to do two things. First, if you know someone who could benefit from listening to this episode, please share it with them. That's how we can support more students with the preparation for their exams. Secondly, if you love listening to our podcast, it would be great if you could leave a five-star rating or a review. So let's learn more about types of waves. Waves can be described by their direction. A longitudinal wave is one which vibrates in the same direction as it travels in. Sound waves are an example of a longitudinal wave, whose motion causes air particles to vibrate. A transverse wave is one which vibrates perpendicularly to the direction it travels in. The ripples of the surface of a body of water are transverse waves, whose motion causes water particles to vibrate. So let's see an example of a problem for this theory. Air particles vibrate due to sound. Explain what this shows. Now if you want to access the solution and the answer for this question, use the link in the show notes. So let's learn more about frequency. Frequency is the number of waves through a point in a given second, and it is measured in hertz. Period is the time taken for a full cycle of the wave to pass through a given point, and it is measured in seconds. These two properties for a wave can be related to the formula T equals 1 over F, where T is the time period and F is the frequency. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. Given that 270 cycles of a wave pass through a point on the wave in 3 seconds, calculate the time period of that wave. If you're unsure about how to solve this problem, you can visit the page of this topic, which is in the show notes. So let's learn more about wavelength. The amplitude of a wave is the maximum vertical displacement of the wave from the point of equilibrium. The points of maximum displacement from the equilibrium are called throws and crests in the positive and negative direction respectively. The wavelength of a wave is the distance between two equal points on consecutive cycles of the wave. Wave fronts are not physical features of a wave, but an imaginary line drawn to represent the vibrations of a wave. The velocity of a wave can be calculated using the formula V equals F lambda, where V is the wave velocity, F is the frequency, and lambda is the wavelength. Now let's mention the question that could be asked in this topic. Given that the wavelength of the wave is 25 meters, calculate the distance between a throw and a crest, which are consecutive. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Okay, so let's have a look at electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves which transfer energy in the form of radiation. Electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum at a speed of 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. The waves which make up the electromagnetic spectrum are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. In order of increasing frequency and energy, and decreasing wavelength. Waves with greater frequencies are more dangerous. Radio waves are often used in communications and do not pose any danger to humans. Microwaves are also used in communications as well as heating food. High exposure to microwaves may be dangerous to humans since the cells of the body internally heat up. Infrared is used in thermal imaging and heating food. These waves are dangerous due to the fact that they can burn skin. Visible light is made up of all the colors at different frequencies, with red being the one with lowest frequency and violet being the one with the highest frequency. Visible light is what lights up rooms and is used in taking photos. Ultraviolet waves are the waves released by the sun. Tanning of the skin by UV waves can cause skin cancer. Both X-rays and gamma rays 
are not absorbed by humans, therefore they can be used internally. X-rays are used for internal imaging, whereas gamma rays are used for detecting and treating cancerous cells. Both waves can cause the mutation of cells and therefore can pose a risk in developing cancer. So let's see an example of a problem for this theory. Manila has broken her wrist and needs to get a scan to diagnose it. Explain why x-rays can be used for this scan. If you are unsure about how to solve this problem, you can visit the page of this topic, which is in the show notes. Okay, so let's have a look at sound waves. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. The travel of sound waves relies on particles vibrating to carry it. Therefore, sound waves can travel through solids, but not a vacuum, since there are no particles there. The speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. The amplitude of a sound wave describes the volume of a sound, since a smaller amplitude means a quieter sound. The frequency of a sound wave describes the pitch of a sound, since a smaller frequency means a deeper and lower pitch sound. The human ear cannot detect all sound waves. The range of the human ear is 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz, and any frequencies outside this range cannot be heard by human ear. All sound waves below the lower limit of human hearing are called infrasound, and all sound waves higher than the upper limit are called ultrasound. Ultrasound waves can be used for imaging purposes, such as for a fetus. When ultrasound waves reach the boundary of the object, they are emitted into by source, some of the waves will be reflected. The time taken for the reflected wave to reach a detector after being emitted from the source is measured. Using the speed of sound, the distance the wave travels through can be calculated. These distance calculations can be used to form images. The question that relates to this theory is, describe how ultrasound can be used to create an image of a fetus. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. So that's the theory and questions for today. I hope you found them useful. If you want to access all of the study resources that we have on our website, go to studysquare.co.uk forward slash all, which is A-L-L. I hope you have a great week ahead. Stay tuned for the next podcast episode and take care. Thank you for listening to Maths and Science Revision with Jonas. If you'd like to get hold of our exam revision guide, go to studysquare.co.uk forward slash pdf and let's turn your exam experience into a success story.